Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Germany. In the last episode, we're continuing to try to reorganize our military. We're starting to assign and develop some commanders. Uh, we're kind of limited by our command power. But, you know, that's the way of things. Um, I still have some commanders here. In fact, I should probably just go ahead and assign you here. Um, we're also working, of course, through our focuses, getting technology. We unlocked the new hull for the Leopard, designed a new variant of the Leopard. Had to kind of make some trade-offs here and there, but that's kind of what you have to do um, to kind of get what I want out of it. So we continue working on that. We're starting to increase our manpower because we're adjusting some of our spending here. Um, we're looking good, positive. Um, positive growth on the treasury. We still have a bunch of debt. I haven't really paid that down yet, but we'll get there. Um, I've been looking at corruption. Corruption's not bad. It'd be great to get rid of it completely. Basic Civil Service Administration. Reduces construction speed in favor of um, political power. Right now, actually, the construction speed is something I want because we want to get this stuff built. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue working on here. We're rolling a speed five because we've got a lot of ground to cover. A lot of stuff to take care of. Um, looks like we can select a chief of the Army, Air Force, and Navy. Preferred tactic selection. I guess we'll just choose Blitz. Stay traditional. Um, planning, maneuver... Division speed, army experience gain, planning, planning speed, army experience, let's see, division speed down, but we get less supply consumption. Um, faster movement, reduced organization. I'm willing to put up a reduced speed in to improve uh, supply consumption. Um, we don't have any. We don't have enough army experience, and, and army experience is going to get dumped into um, rearranging my. Um, my templates. Anyway, you know that's going to be the the priority here. Uh, is there anything that I should be doing here? Dig for more resources. Chance of adding oil. No, I kind of need the political power right now. Resources are not a big issue at the moment. There really isn't anything here that I see that I need to be doing. All right, Polish is staying Western Outlook. Korea proposing to construct infrastructure. We've been declining that. We're going to keep declining it. I don't see any reason to uh, let that influence in.
Navy Command, Commerce Rating, Naval Maneuver. We'll go with this. We're gonna let the Navy experience build up. I'm not really gonna be dealing with the Navy. German consumers spend less. A recent report highlighted the hard work in German people are... I'll deal with that in a second. Increasingly worried about their future. This pessimism is causing people to save more and overall consumption is down. Um, if we transfer some shopping money... Eighty-five percent of stable growth. Sixty percent chance of no change. I would rather we get no change. And it looks like yeah, it didn't change. All right, good. Infrastructural reform is completed. That got us an additional infrastructure in two different states, that's good. Coal industry compromise. Foreign policy pragmatism. Do I wanna try and go for some, that's only 10 army experience. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Paris trade relations. Let's do the coal industry compromise. That's 35 days. Knocked it out real quick. Iran has declared war on revolutionary Iran. That's kind of what we saw coming. Um, because there were protests and everything else. So we have a revolutionary Iran freedom movement. It's non-aligned. Versus base Iran, which is emerging. Uh, we do have uh, limited interventionalism. Send volunteers tension limit. We won't be able to send volunteers. Probably something that we should think about prioritizing changing. The Iranian Civil War. This morning, a handful of army officers and generals in the Iranian armed forces turned against the Iranian regime and sided with protesters, vowing to bring about the end of the Islamic Republic. To follow suit, many other units and divisions have begun disobeying their orders and joining arms alongside the Iranian people in their attempt to overthrow the Islamic Republic. And this very news has caused... Um, Ali Khamenei, Khamenei declared complete martial law. The IRGC today stated the day that Iran's enemies are behind the conflict and the movement will be short-lived with punishments awaiting the dissidents. Wow. All right. Um, we have no way of knowing exactly what's going on there unless someone is willing to... Uh... Give me an attache. No, apparently not. Well, we shall see what becomes of Iran. All right, there is construction one. Let's get an excavation one. George W. Bush has formed a new government in the United States. That is to be expected. We can add a chief of the Air Force. Close air support. Pilot training. Air wing training experience gain. Air fuel consumption. 
Air wing mission experience gain. Air experience gain. Um, escort efficiency. I'll take the close air support. Yeah. Late Cold War War turbine engine is complete. Let's get the post Cold War turbine engine because the, I think the next the next main battle tank that we're going to be designing is going to have a turbine engine. How are we doing as far as things here? It's still going to take a while. What I could do... I don't know how expensive it's going to be. Let's try it out. Is we could lease... At least we well, used to be able to lease... Military factories. Subsidized shipbuilding. Give research grants. Increased research speed. Invest $74.8 billion to support domestic campaigns. That's a significant boost in research speed. 74.8 billion dollars. No, we're gonna hold off. Uh, Myanmar's cracks down on protests. Information coming out of Myanmar. Uh, has been scarce in recent weeks, but it has become clear the government has responded violently to peaceful pro-democracy demonstrations, launching a crankdown of monumental proportions. Western leaders in the United Nations Secretary General have vocally denounced the violence in Myanmar. China and Russia have not publicly commented on the crackdown, but have vetoed a Security Council resolution condemning the violence. All right, coal industry compromise is complete. That will give me 150 more political power. This gives me democratic diplomatic proximity opinion. Just improved opinion across the board. We are going to need both of them. Let's take the political power. Because we can use that to make some adjustments. Um, what I'd like to see doctrines available much as I'd like to work on doctrines. What I want to do is uh, Actually, can I promote a field commander? Yeah, let's promote. Promote you. Right. And let's make you commander of this army. Such as it is. Because I'm trying to save the other guy, this guy here, because your air cavalry. Like I, once I design some air cavalry units, then we will assign them. So that is what we're waiting for. All right, let's edit you. This is going to be a twenty or a thirty combat width armored infantry. Infantry. Let's 
Self-propelled artillery battery. Um, motorized. Combat width. 24. Let's see, combat width plus one, that's 25. We give them some engineers. Self-propelled air defense, 26. Helicopter combat service support. Interesting. Let's see, this is a width of what? Four. Yeah. And what is this a width of? Four. Okay. Air attack. These guys have air attack. Self-propelled artillery. Versus artillery. Mm. I'm trying to decide if we need self-propelled air defense. For these 30 width. I don't think we do. Let's go without them. And let's put more armored infantry on there. Do it. All right. The Ayatollah flees Iran. Out of fear of being captured by rebel forces, Ayatollah Khomeini um, has fled Iran following the Iranian Civil War and is now seeking refuge in Venezuela. He's been offered a sanctuary. He is being blamed by several government bodies within Iran for the uprising, as he argued that he simply did not do enough to prevent it from happening in the first place. Iranian resistance leaders have called his escape cowardly and are demanding that he be returned to Iran for a fair trial. Uh, the Guardian Council has elected a government official they deem competent to deal with the uprising properly, but how he will do is anyone's guess. Um, so far, it looks like that the actual front is kind of stalemated. Alright, let's get in here and let's monkey with the Panzer Brigade. What do we got our hands on here? It's not very much of a Panzer Brigade. Um, all right, let's let's just move this. Okay. Um, we want armored infantry over here. Let's add more tanks. Let's see the tanks don't have very good air attack. These guys are absolutely going to need self defense uh, air self defense armored recon heavy engineers We go without the helicopter support here. Just to kind of save some resources. Hmm. 
Let's see, these guys have a width of four. Recovery rate, trickle back, and war support protection. infantry have a combat with the four anything that has a combat width of just three light tank battalion Maybe we're throwing a light tank battalion in there. The thing is, do we actually have like light tanks? I don't know. Recon tanks. Yeah, we're probably going to have to take engineers. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, it's because we're doing heavy engineers. If we just did normal engineers, we'd be fine. There's our problem. Okay. Save that. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to have a location set to distribute those. Once they're done actually outfitting and training. Which our Panzer Brigades are actually getting pretty close. Maoist forces crushed in defeat. In a momentous turn of events, pro-monarchist forces in Nepal have driven out Maoist forces from the country, signaling the end of a long-standing conflict that has left the trail of destruction in its wake. With the remaining stronghold secured, Nepal can now look forward to a period of recovery and growth as it seeks to rebuild its economy and infrastructure. However, with the defeat of the Maoist forces, the establishment of a new era of stability, Nepal has taken a significant set step towards realizing its full potential as a nation. With the support of the international community and a renewed sense of national purpose, the country is poised to emerge from this dark chapter a stronger, more resilient nation. Okay. Did we finish manufacturing those orbital launch vehicles? We did. Let's get them in orbit. How many failures are we going to get? Two failures. It helped, though. It did help. Post Cold War AFV. Before we do that, let's get 10 more satellites and 10 more orbital launch vehicles constructed. Cruise missile technology, ballistic missile technology. What do we have here? Early Cold War heavy auto cannons. We have assault cannons. We have. Auto cannons, we can get heavy auto cannons. Uh, what do we have here? Late Cold War light tank guns. Medium tank guns. 
Let's get the light tank guns. The member states vote on Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union. What is your country's vote? Isn't there like a setting that prevents this from... Disable AI voting retry. Yeah, do that because it just gets annoying, and we're gonna say no because we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be a thorn in the side. Uh, let's see. No vote of one member states, so the proposal was dismissed. You modify the government. What I really want to do is get to this. To start lowering the tension limits that are needed to actually do stuff. All right. So this is infantry. Let's promote somebody. There we go. We have commanders for all of our armies. That's good. Budget consolidation is complete. So that got us a pile of political power. Pension reform. More political power. Let's see, we need green card initiative over there. We'll grab that foreign policy pragmatism. Yeah, we have no template for the artillery. At least not yet. Anyway. I'm going to need to import some oil. Um, Let's import some oil from Venezuela. One factory's worth. There we go. Bulgaria asks us for investing our money into the Bulgarian economy. We lose three and a half billion. Bulgaria gets an infrastructure. Sure. There's our post Cold War turbine engine. We could go for the auxiliary electric engine, or we can move this slot somewhere else. Might be worth moving this slot somewhere else. Um. I haven't even looked at the Navy yet. We're actually okay on ships right now. Once we hit 2005, we can start working on... We're going to want helicopter operators. What about aircraft? Where are we at for aircraft? We're okay for helicopters. We're doing fairly well for... 
aircraft, basic aircraft. Twenty fifteen is when we can get the next tier. Super cruise. As for strike fighters, we're not really that worried about strike fighters right now. Uh, transports. AWACS. Close air support. Maritime patrol. This is where we might want to use... some upgrades. Let's get some improved transport aircraft. One thing I'm not actually making any of. No. Movement for the liberation of Congo took a state. Rally for Congolese democracy took eight states. Okay, so rally for Congo Congolese democracy has taken over. Um, what is the Iranian civil war doing? It's uh, not going in um, the Islamic Republic's favor. Like, if you were if you were looking to build civilian industry, like I would consider it. Liberia took a state. Liberians United for Reconciliation and Democracy was annexed. Okay. Uh, let's do global interventionalism. I also need to pick some manufacturers. Rheinmetall. Uh, Kraus Maffe. And there goes Iran. German consumers are spending less. We're going to try and avoid that from happening. Infrastructure again. 3G. We'll deal with this in a second. Let's do Wi-Fi. Research speed increase. Iranian revolutionaries triumphantly march across the capital as they declare victory over the Islamic Republic. Whilst the new interim government begins the grand referendum, this comes as Iran descended into chaos some months ago, and the a large swaths of the army revolted against the Islamic Republic. Yes. Uh, Khomeini now silent, silently resides in Venezuela, where he has begin, been granted a sanctuary and has not commented on anything so far. But Iranians are demanding he be returned and tried for his crimes during his term as a supreme leader. Uh, for some time now, Iran will have to decide what government they, are, they want ruling Iran moving forward. And Western nations have expressed support for the former crown prince, Reza Pahlavi. Whilst the Chinese and Russians appear to be backing the MEK. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Armor research. Armor and reliability up. Armor and heart attack. We're going to go with Rheinmetall for the increased reliability. Late Cold War light tank gun. All right.
Let's go for... Fuel usage. It's just reduced fuel usage on the auxiliary electric engine. Let's work on the auto cannons. The second library Liberian Civil War ends. Today, Charles Taylor, the dictator president of Liberia, announced the end of uh, L-U-R-D in Liberia. Despite the Liberian military being in shambles and most of the work being done by Taylor's anti-terrorist units, um, the L-U-R-D with their Guinean allies weren't able to topple the, his government. What remaining rebels there are have crossed the border and escaped into Guinea. It is likely that Taylor will continue the conflict with Guinea until all opposition is dealt with. Okay, well, I think we're going to go ahead and end here. What I need to do and try to remember to do next episode is design. Is to see what I can do with, um, with the new third generation IFV hull and the third generation APC hull. Um... We have this first generation APC we need to replace and this second generation IFV, the LAV uh, 300, LAV 300. Yep, see what we can do with those. And um, yeah, see what our options are. But for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.